Right then, C to sink. Animal correctly restrained. Check a tag number. Check my paperwork. 2.5 mils of receptile. I'm using a lure lock type syringe to maintain needle contact. I hate dropping needles, I hate leaving them behind in animals. For this job, it makes it a lot quicker. Straight in the deep muscle, 18 gauge, inch and a half needle, they hardly feel it. Your hormones in a long way. Turn that back to its box, grab a piece of paper. Cedar applicator, rinse in hibby scrub, give it a tap, rinse the hibby off in clean water. Gloves on, you will absorb the hormone off the cedar through your skin. Cedar into the applicator, close the ends of it, and there's just a little bit of a bump here, which I use as a backstop. So that's now inserted. You see the cedar's closed nicely, the tail's pointing downwards. Bit of lube off my pump. That's the applicator and cedar lubricated. Into the animal. Find a bit of paper. Right. Running out of hands. Lift the tail. Clean the back end off as best you can. Because you don't want to be taking muck in. The cedar itself will cause some immunosuppression, so you can see some slight whites or metritis. Applicator in, you might want somebody to hold the tail for you if you've got any help. Just point it slightly skywards so it goes over the, the outlet for the bladder. Slide in gently, you shouldn't have any resistance. Then you will touch the cervix and you normally get a reaction from the heifer like that. Release your applicator, keep it compressed, draw out, and when it's settled, you should see the tail, which is there. Now I've cut these tails to save all the heifers pulling them out, but I just leave them long enough so that you can see them. You want to be checking a couple of times a day to make sure they're in. Any that are lost, if you find them in time, give them a rinse, put them back in, you won't affect your program. That's her done. Applicator back in the bucket, start again. One down, 34 to go.